Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2013. So the question is, what is the return value of F of P, P? Okay, so here we are calling F of P, P if the value of P is initialized to 5. Okay, before calling the function. Note that the first parenthesis is a is passed by reference whereas the second parenthesis is passed by value okay 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 so now this is an interesting question right yes. so let us concentrate for few minutes guys this will be really an interesting question so we are having somewhere p so it is having the storing the value 5 okay so the first value in the function f it is nothing but a pointer to this location like it is connected to this and the second one is just a reference for it so a normal value for it. It is not reference. Okay. Yes. So let us start calling. So let us give some addresses so that it will be easy. So f of 100 comma 5. Okay. So the first step what we are doing is we are reducing that c minus 1. Okay. So now the value of c became from 5 it became to 4. Okay. So now you are checking whether if c is equals to 0 or not. Is it equal? No. Okay, so it's not equal, right? Yes. So let us continue with this step. So here we are doing x is equals to x plus 1. So what is the value of x, guys? Okay, so x is a nothing but it is a pointer, right? Yes. So what is the value? Okay, so this step might be a bit confusing. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, so for now, let us assume this x is nothing but this value, guys. So let us assume that this x is address of x in that way. Okay, yes. So it will be updating this value to 6, right? Yes. So now we are done with that part. So here now the value will be, okay. So now the value will be return of f of the value of x is a nothing but. So what is the value of x, guys? Okay. So the value of x is, uh, I think we should pass 100 only, right? Okay, so let me think. Okay, so let us pass. Uh, I'm literally confused with this question, guys. I think, uh, let me check the printing. Is there any printing mistake in this? Because uh, there should be something mistake, guys. Because if we are having here x, so it is 100 or uh, uh, 5, guys. So if it is a 5, it should be address of or star of x, right? Yes. So just give me a second again. Okay, so let us for now let it be x only. So let us reduce the confusion at least. So the value here it will be 4 and here the value will be x only. Okay, so let us think of that x later on. Okay, yes. Okay, so now this value is updating, right? Okay, so now what will be the value guys? So again you will come inside, again you will reduce this c value to 3. Again you will check here c is not equal to 3. Again you will come here, again you will increment this to 7. Okay, so again you will call the function. So x comma 3. So in this way until where it will call guys? So f of x comma 1, here again x, so f of x comma 0, here x, so at, at this point you will stop. So at this point, how many times you have called, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, okay. So this value will be upgraded up to 8, 9, will it upgrade again? So let me cross check, okay. So at this point, it is upgraded to 6, okay, at this point it is 7, it is 8, it is 9, it is 10, so it should go up to 10, right, yes. Okay, so will it go till here guys? So let us cross check. So when once x equal to 1, so it will decrement. So it will not go till here. So once it is a 1, it will check here. So it be, the uh, the value will become a 0 and it will say that it will return 1. So basically here you will return 1. Okay, yes. Okay, so now the value will go up to maximum 9. Okay, so now let us assume the value of x is a nothing but this value 9. Okay, so what will be the result guys? It, this is will become 9. So 9 into 1 is equals to 9. So now 9 into 9 is 81. So 81 into 9. So what is 81 into 9? That is 729. 729 into 9. So what will be the result? It is nothing but 6561 guys. So that is nothing but option B. Okay, so here the main logical confusion is with respect to this X guys. Okay, so basically this X is just a pointer to this location right yes so address of x means that is located to this address right yes 
Okay, so I hope everyone got some basic idea about this question, right? So basically, even I was a bit confused with this question because the terminology is not that much crystal clear. Okay, yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.